Welcome to the Glue and Capri Musical Motivational Movement. Actually, let me say welcome to Tough Enough Tuesdays, Glue and Capri style. Yes, I got my fight music on for us today. Right now, you get ready to hear a little Rocky theme music, <clears throat> excuse me, theme music in the back just to get us through uh, whatever fights we have ahead of us today. Those two songs right there, I don't know about y'all, but boy. They made me feel like I can go and tackle the world, so I felt like I wanted to play them for um, us to here today at Tough Enough Tuesdays. What I use to inspire myself, I want to use to glue inspire you. So hopefully, prayerfully, that's what it's doing. Let me start off by saying, um, for those of us that woke up on this side, God's got a greater plan for our life. Ancestors, thank you for setting the way, setting the opening up the path for us. Um, for those that did not make it over. May your souls continue to be in peace. Uh, Tough Enough Tuesdays is, is about taking our fighting temper and using it to fight ourselves. I mean, to fight what's going on within ourselves. I can't speak for anyone else. I grew up fighting. I'm a fighter. I will whoop your motherfucking ass. That's, 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 that's my mindset. That's how I grew up. I walked around in the... I wish a motherfucker would mode. I still do walk around in the I wish a motherfucker would mode. And being grown up fighting inside a family dynamics made it easy for me to fight any and everywhere else. I had nothing to lose. You know, to me, once you cross a certain threshold, everything else is just fair game. So once I realize, I apologize, when I don't have music on, my ADHD kicks in all day having dreams. So the music also is a calming mechanism for myself to get through this. The silence allows too much to come in. Um, as I get it, I give it. And welcome to Living the Self-Help Project. As I, as I go through it in motion, I hope it inspires you to get and be in motion. Um, as I was stating, I grew up fighting. I don't have to hold this. My, I should have on my, my brace. Um, uh, where was I at? My temper's off the chain. The anger that I have is deeply rooted. It ain't, it ain't going nowhere when I do work on it. I think my temper is calmed down. I think the anger is calmed down. It don't take anything to set this motherfucker off, you know. And my lady has every right to say, baby, I don't want you to get a gun because she knows I may be a rational thinker and I think a lot. But once that switch has been turned on, it's a whole nother world. And I'm even afraid of myself in that element after having witnessed how I felt after fights growing up I had to sit with that I had to be okay with when well, I didn't be okay I had to hear parents in my 10th grade year I want to say ninth to 10th grade year had to be ninth grade um Tisa gentle breeze I had to Listen to a mother say, you almost killed my daughter. Then I had to deal with the student population saying, hey, yo, that's, that's, that's the female Mike Tyson. That didn't sit well with my spirit. That didn't make the glue person that I really, really am, my true glue self, that didn't make me happy at the end of the day. That was one of the determining times in my life, that particular fight. The way it went down, the way it had to be broken up, the school suspensions, the police being involved, all of that for me. And that was just ninth grade, okay? Ninth grade. So for me, I had to realize that's not how I want to live. That's not how I want to be. What can I do to get control of me? And I still don't have control of me. I have techniques that I have to use to 
stay in control to keep me from losing control. That's what helps me keep what control that I have learned about myself. So please know it's a work in progress. You are responsible for that control, yet you have to learn for yourself what it is that, number one, I'm too cute for jail. That was like, hey, no, this booty back here? Jail? No. Now I'm good. And no matter how big of a, how bad of a fight you are, where you are, it's always somebody that's badder than you. And I never wanted to cross that person who even thought remotely worse than what I, I would think when I'm fighting someone. So um, you got to find out for yourself what is it that's, that, that's worth too much to lose. Then you got to find out for yourself what am I really still angry about? What am I? Because I know a lot of adults that fight. I do. It's, it's a huge population. And the kids that I work with, they get it from their mama. They get it from their daddy. So we're raising generations of people that fight. But it's the how we're fighting that concerns me. I love fighters. I, I believe we all are fighters. It's just we're fighting in the wrong way. And if we all learn how to fight in our own personal glue way, then the world can be glued up. And that's my only plight in this life through living the self-help project is to teach what I know to help me. And prayerfully it works for somebody else. That's, that's the most I can ask for with my ride. If this was my last breath, I'm using it to teach a technique on Tough Enough Tuesdays to keep somebody else from becoming unglued. That's all I want. No more, no less. So let me get to the three techniques that I feel that I know worked for me through living the self-help project. First, we got to go back to yesterday, Monday, Tuesday. was um, I meant Mountain Climbing Monday. It was um, glue sawing your soul. The three techniques to glue saw your soul was number one, sit with yourself. As soon as you feel something ain't right, uh, let me go sit with myself. The second thing is Search yourself. What is it that you're feeling? Don't ask her why. Just what am I feeling right now? Am I happy? Am I angry? Am I pissed off? Am I, and I have to say this because I teach sexual transportation and that to me is one of the utmost um, topics I like to speak on because I teach about HIV AIDS and taking that sexual energy and turning it into your passion. So I also have to say in that, in that, when I'm sitting with myself, if I'm getting horny and there's nothing that I can do about it because I took a personal vow of commitment, celibacy, abstinence to myself to get into my true blue self. This is me talking to myself. When I'm angry, I'm ready to fuck. That's real talk. When I, when, and then when I'm not able to fuck, if something's going on and you can't get that energy out, you're ready to fight. So you got to work with all of that. And I'm not going to go too far off, but I'm going to always keep it glued. Um, so the three techniques, glue saw your soul. Up on the glue saw your soul, sit with yourself, search yourself. And once you've searched yourself and asked yourself, what is it that I'm feeling? Not why. What is it that I'm feeling? Then get to the third. Well, why am I feeling this way? Why did this situation disturb my soul? So that's the first step of Tough enough Tuesdays, glue tidbits to help you keep your, your temper under control, um, your anger under control. Then the step two is to forgive yourself. Forgiveness works wonders. We forgive other people before we even look at ourselves in the mirror and say, Self, I forgive you for losing your cool. So, I forgive you for the thought that you had when this motherfucker said something about your mom. Okay, that's the energy that I grew up in. Somebody just say something about your mama, even though me and mama weren't right. You can't call my mama no bitch and think I'm not going to do something about it. And just because you was pregnant. And that was why I had to get myself together. I had no business at the age of 15, 13, 14, arguing with a pregnant woman for calling my mom a bitch who I didn't even get along with. Who had probably just beat my ass the day before or earlier that day. 
And when I say beat my ass, not the old school beat like spanking. I mean get down with the get down. But it was still you talking about my mama. So that person there needed some gluing up. Because as an adult, I could, I could be in jail right now dead. And I know that. And because I am who I am and how I am, it still can happen. But because on purpose, with purpose, because I realize now I have a purpose, I can't let it happen. And that's the mindset that I want to work with you to get you to move forward in. And when I say you, if you're still watching this, it's you. If this isn't for you, you would have been gone. So I appreciate you and my pinky toe for being open, transparent, vulnerable, and real with me. Welcome to Tough Enough Tuesdays. Right where you are, you are tough enough. So first step, glue saw your soul. Second step, forgive yourself. Third step, what can I do with this anger? What can Personally, I like fighting. I like hitting stuff. It feels good. That's the way I learn love. I have to redirect my fighting energy in a whole nother way. And when I couldn't do sex, I had to find something else. So that's why you see me walking a lot, me at the beach a lot, going to the gym here and there, writing, going outside in the yard, I yell, um, go outside and I, I'll cry every now and then. I can't, that emotion for me is easy for others than it is for myself. So I'm working on being vulnerable and crying for myself without being triggered by somebody else's story. So when I tell you I'm with you in this, on this journey, Trust and believe deep down in your pinky toe. You got somebody that's supporting you right where you are. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off right now. If you stay with me, I appreciate you um, in my pinky toe and my everything. Please get yourselves tested for HIV AIDS. Uh, know that God loves unconditionally everyone. It's our duty to give love unto everyone, even you. Uh, be you be great. Start your upper movement today for tomorrow is a promise. That's Louis Capri, baby. If you need those techniques again, please um, ask me, and I'd be more than happy to send those to you. That's Blue and Capri, baby. And I'm, I, I shouldn't be slouching. Anymore.